Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. Today we're checking out the play Sabra, about a young girl who goes to Israel to find true love. Let's take a look. I can't believe it! Believe it! Hug me again. Mm. Hey, hi, how are you? Remember a guy? I, I don't think we ever met. Hi, I'm Gila. Oh, nice to meet you. You too. How was your uh, plane? My Fly. flight? Uh, it was okay. Long. Did you sleep? A little, but it's not. Oh, real. this is my much yeah. <laughs> exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's really great to finally meet you. You too. I mean, she talks about you all the time. Really? I hope good things. Of course, good things. She's told me about you too. Really? Yeah. Don't worry. I talk about you all the time too. I just cool. talk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Gila. Why is the door unlocked? It was locked when I got here. Should that make me feel better? Of course. <laughs> oh, given birth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you'd be home yet! I couldn't wait oh. to see you! But that was work! Ah, it was okay. I took the right bus home today. Masata! Today? <laughs> I actually am really proud of myself. I got lost yesterday and the day before. It's okay, you just got here. But they're just buses. I should be able to figure them out. And you did! I did. Ooh, I'm going to sleep with you tonight, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> Do you mind? No, no, of course not. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. I thought that we could finally uh, catch up. It's been a long two years. <laughs> hey, can I sleep on the couch? So, Baba. You can't just pretend that this is going to fix itself. Nothing is broken. Speak for yourself. Promise that you'll stay. We can figure out all the rest later, as long as you promise, promise that you'll stay. I don't make promises. I don't know. I don't know what to do without you. you. Can't just leave me. And now Guy's home and I don't know what I'm supposed to do or who I'm supposed to be and everything is changing and I, there's nothing I can do to stop it and you haven't even been here long enough to make things slow down. I thought you knew where you were going. So we're here with the cast and uh, you did a really fantastic job Thank and uh, really bring so many different issues to the forefront. How did you guys prepare uh, for the role? Well, um, I really, really love this script. I think that the, the text is beautiful, and I, I just found a really deep personal connection to it. So um, I read it over and over again and figured out what I connected to the most and um, just went with it. Oh, OK. <laughs> We're going to keep on with that question. Um, <laughs> So uh, for me as an Israeli, it was in some points easier to find it because I was Israeli, but at the second, but on the other hand, I'm not an Orthodox. So it was interesting to find my own view that I thought that I knew all about and then find it in a whole different kind of perspective. So that was really interesting to me. Uh, I Ned, did not think I would ever be wearing a uniform again. But I did, and that was uh, kind of awesome because even just the visual of looking at myself wearing that it just brought me back, and I, 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 I I'm pretty pretty aware of the feelings and uh, everything about this play is very very relatable to me on many levels. And decision making is not never easy, especially when it comes to grown up stuff. And uh, yeah. I was watching a lot of Israeli TV for a while, uh, listening to a lot of Israeli music, just getting back into the groove of what it's like to live there. And especially now, today, today was very important to me to do this show with you guys because things in Israel are not very easy and this was kind of like a support group for a day, so that was awesome for me. <laughs> Uh, as far as preparation for the role goes, I uh, really connected with the script. Uh, luckily enough, I have a lot of background being uh, Israeli and American and um, coming from Orthodox background. And uh, like so many characters in the play, I also like girls. So it was really easy for me to find my way. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's, uh, it's the first time out of home. So being here nine months and then getting a taste of Israel again. It was just brilliant, and um, just take the weapon and the uniforms again. I, I started with 
some research um, about the specific unit that guy comes from and I wanted to get the sense um, of what it is to come back after three weeks in base and uh, it's something that I, I remember from my uh, military service so I just find a way to uh, get the sense and what it is to come back to, to, to your house to, to your girlfriend friends um, it was really interesting and same here it was special so special I, I was really proud today uh, to be with the uniforms I uh, I was glad <laughs> Uh, well, I'm pretty weird <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, Gila, uh, yeah, so I was uh, pretty easy to find this role, but I'm just the only one that's not Israeli that's supposed to be playing in Israeli, uh, so that was the challenge, but I blackmailed a playwright into putting me in the show, so it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> now, and it, you know, love is sometimes hard to elicit uh, in play, and and you really did so many different um, things to really show love. Uh, tell us a little bit of how you you put that to all together. Sarah. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, it's funny. Uh, people ask me, you know, why why do I feel that this was a same sex relationship or um, isn't it difficult to play a same-sex relationship? And um, I really feel like at the crux, the, the heart of the play, it's not about gay or straight. It's just about two people that have a connection and are searching for something in each other. And, and I find the relationship between these two women to be really beautiful. And, and to me, it sort of transcends a label like homo, hetero, gay, straight, anything like that. Um, and it, it's really just a lovely story about two people that found home in each other. Um, for me it was, well, when you have a partner like Sarah, I have to say that, that from, from, the, from day one when we started rehearsing, it was so easy because I really genuinely like her and like being around her. She's just an awesome person. And I can say the same for the entire cast except for Chris and <clears throat> and it was just so easy to fall in love with her and uh, I'm, I'm a girl kind of person. I have so many girlfriends uh, that I'm so insanely tight with. They're like my family. So the transition and the boundaries, I can see how they get a little unclear and um, uh, it was just I, I find that to 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 have uh, to to be debating between two things is probably the hardest thing. When you have more than two options, you're more likely to come up with something. But when you have two really good ones, that's when it becomes really difficult. And it's and it's ev in everything like being in New York versus being in Israel. They're both so good and both so promising, and you have to make that choice every day. And what what when you, what, what happens on the days that it doesn't really work, making that choice that you can't really do that. So, yeah. So tell us how you came up with this uh, this idea. Uh, well, I've spent a lot of time in Israel, uh, being an American, and a lot of time in America, being uh, a Jew. And uh, there's just there's really nowhere where I am. I'm fully uh, part of, of a culture or a society, and uh, it's not just me, but it's, you know, growing up as a, as a Jew, you just, you know, you learn and you pray and you study and, you know, you spend all your time um, dreaming about Israel, and then you go to Israel and it's like, oh wait, I'm actually an American. Um, so just this kind of being, being pulled in two directions at the same time, that kind of feeling. Yeah. And you know, visiting Israel and seeing you know a lot of the different things you just spoke about, but all you, all the characters like you nailed it. <laughs> you know, from from the from the sarcasm to the Israeli team, right? It was just like you know, it was just a melting pot, and, and I think it really shows uh, in in all of your your skills as actors and, and you know in your work as uh, as writer, and uh, and I'm sure the audiences will uh, will see that uh, in your future plays as well. Yeah, so thank, thank you again. You so much. Thank you. Thank you.